everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Saturday, and I was doing my makeup, nothing special. I um, just was putting on something to go and run some errands and stuff today, and I thought, why don't I do the Charlotte Tilbury lip swatches today? So, you will notice that I already have lip liner on. This is my collaboration lip liner with Christian Audet. It's the, uh, oh goodness, Nude Sandals lip liner and the reason I put this on is because this lip liner lasts forever and I thought okay all lipsticks look better with lip liner on to me so I'm going to take this off and it's going to leave behind enough to look good with every lip liner so I'm going to take this off now and see it leaves behind just that good amount of lip liner. Okay, I told you a little bit of this story that I had gone and ordered five of the lip sticks, the new Hot Lips 2 lipsticks, and these are gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. They're kind of along the lines of the colors I've been liking lately, and they're refillable. So each lipstick tube is so pretty. So I am going to tell you the five that I ordered, and I'm not gonna open these because they're gonna be in a giveaway. So I ordered um, Dance Floor Princess, which I believe that might be for Shakira. They're, you know, they're kind of named after different people again. Uh, Glowing Jen. I'm not, I haven't done good. Let me, um, let's see, Angel Alessandra. We know that's Alessandra, the Victoria's Secret girl. Um, Viva La Vergara, that's Sophia Vergara and in love with Olivia. Okay, so let me look those two up. Okay, the Olivia is Olivia Palermo. I should have known that. Okay, so the, the color they say with this is super flattering, sumptuous pink lipstick with creamy satin finish, homage to Olivia Palermo. Okay, and then the other one, which was um, Glowing Gin is a tawny beachy rose lipstick and liner duo that's this right here and then let's see um jennifer aniston okay so this is natural berry shade for reshaping recite no that's the bond girl okay homage to jennifer aniston this is a university universally flattering tawny beachy rose enlivens your complexion and adds a pop of color to the face okay so we've got that okay then she ended up sending me i i think all of them and then these really cool like patches that i am going to use and then these little stickers love it the two patches okay and if you haven't watched my video before now and you're wondering what the heck is going on with my brows i had them microbladed last monday and so they are still fading and setting and everything i contacted my girl today and i said when can i wash them because i haven't really you know one time i went over with just the tiniest bit of just water on a little gauze pad and um just got the powder out of them but you know she said to wait as long as i can so i have not washed them or anything like that so that's why they're dark but okay now let's see let's just go for it and try maybe we should do the lighter one soon let me get them in order hold on okay so the first one we'll start off with is enigmatic edward and this is just a lip conditioner um, comforting, hydrating lipstick conditioner, homage to Edward Enenful, in, in keeps your lips moisturized for up to 11 hours. So that makes sense that we will do that. I've already actually used this one time. It feels so good. So, and I'll show you what the lip, look at that, how cool they come. And then look at this. And each one is refillable. I feel like Charlotte and I have the same taste. Okay, so... Mm, it feels like if you have used the Chanel lip conditioner, that's what it feels like. Okay, so mm, that will be a good way to start. 
I think the next lightest one is going to be Dance Floor Princess. And I am fairly certain that that is um, after uh, Kylie Minogue. Dreamy, pretty, cool girl pink lipstick homage to Kylie Minogue. So that is the first one we're going to put on. And I'm going to blot my lips and get all this, you know, off so it isn't, you can see the true color. Look at that. How pretty it is. Love it. Okay, and I will swatch them. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. So that is a beautiful, beautiful pink. If you like her in her other lipsticks, Bitch Perfect, if you like Matte Cream Cup, um, Mac Angel, just beautiful. Oh, okay. I see why I ordered that one. That one is gorgeous. So, Dance Floor Princess. Hey, I'm gonna go, like on her website, it started with that one and it goes to darker, so I'm just gonna go along that order. And the next one is Angel Alessandra. And this is a Sunset Peachy Nude Lipstick. So we are going to, and I'm gonna try to keep the swatches on my hand so that you guys can um, see them compared to each other. Okay, this is the packaging on this one. Beautiful, I'm glad I waited to try this, these with you guys. Okay, so you can definitely see it's a peachier tone, but it's in the same, like Kylie's is more, Kylie Minot, the princess one is more of a blue pink, and this is definitely more of a warm peach. So, this is one that Tammy would like. For all of those, all of you that like the peachy lips, gorgeous just brightening enough to still be like a nude but it does have plenty of color so this is the uh, angel alessandra the next one is glowing gin after jennifer aniston a tawny beachy rose lipstick and here is the beautiful packaging Oh, that is so pretty. I've not even swatched this yet. Okay, that is gorgeous. That is the color I've been wearing lately. Beautiful. So that is, it's still like a nude because it's not like a bright color, but it's a nude with color. Tawny Beachy Rose Lipstick, and that's it. And just, I think it's gonna even look better when you go over it a little bit with lip liner. And she does in each, uh, with each lipstick on the website, she tells you the lip liner that would go good with it. So you could just pick. You can either choose that or pick a good one to carry it more brown or more rose, but that is just beautiful. Next one is In Love with Olivia, and this is for Olivia Palermo, a sumptuous pink lipstick. So we shall see, and this one has the cool little case like that. And, oh, this is really pretty. Okay, so this is lighter than the one for Jen. Oh, okay, so this is a little bit brighter. This, I think I like this almost better than the, what was that one? Oh, not glowing Jen. The Alessandra one. 
that's just like the perfect peachy pink color. Okay, so this is In Love with Olivia. Okay, I think I might have forgotten to do a swatch, did I? Okay, so that on the end is In Love with Olivia. Okay, so you can see that was the peachy one for before. That is more of a, I guess it's a little bit of a darker tone. Aren't they all beautiful? Okay, and as you can see, my lips are getting a little irritated, but that's why you start off with the lightest one first. Okay, so the next one is going to be a Peachy Nude Rose Lipstick JK Magic. Okay, haven't opened this one yet to even look at it yet. This one is for JK Rowling. This one is a Peachy Nude Rose Lipstick. They're so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put this one right here underneath that last. Wow. Okay, this one's got a good, good shine. I love how the bullet is shaped. That is beautiful. I mean, they're all good. You're not going to go wrong with any of them. Just pick whatever you typically like. And maybe pick one that you don't typically wear. And you might find like a new color to kind of go into. I love it when I get like a new thing to start getting into. That is beautiful. Okay, so here they are so far. They have a beautiful satiny sheen to them. And a good weight. They're kind of thicker feeling. They're, you guys know how Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are. Karina Star, a modern peach soft coral. And this is named after Karina Lau. Okay, so let me take this off and I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna go in with this Edward lip conditioner and kind of condition my lips a little bit and then that'll help get more of the other residue off too. Okay, here's the case. And this is going to be a fresh, illuminating, modern peachy soft coral in homage to Karina Lau. Okay, so now we're getting into some more color. As the nuanced pop of color suits every skin tone, enlivens the lips, and transports you into a magical land of stardom. Okay, I'm going to put this right beside. Oh, I like that. It's almost, this is the brightest one, definitely. I was going to say it's almost like a ready, corally red, but it's definitely like a pinky, more of like a hot pink coral. And this one doesn't seem to be as glossy. Oh, wow. I would have never picked that one, but I love it. Very, very, it's neat. It's one of those bright colors, kind of like a Hollywood color, but because it's not so shiny, it really looks good. It looks already has that kind of worn in look. That is beautiful. Look how big it makes your lips look too. That is gorgeous. So this is the uh, Karina, yeah, Karina Lau. So the name of the lipstick is um, Karina's Star. That is just beautiful. <laughs> Okay, the next one is Amazing Amal, and this is a soft berry pink lipstick. An elegant, soft, warm berry pink lipstick in homage to Amal Clooney. And beautiful the color I could see her wearing, definitely. It's going to be a little bit darker, but yet still plenty of pop. pretty. 
this too is not as silky. It doesn't say that it's a, um, let me see. I don't see that it says it's a different formula, but to me, this one and the last one seem like a different formula. They are not as glossy, but I like that because they are the darker colors. And you have to kind of go in like that. This is beautiful. Hey, this one I'm curious about. It's called Red Hot Susan, and it is a tawny orange red lipstick. And who is this named after? Susan Sarandon. Okay, I should have known that. A university, univer, why am I having a hard time with that? I keep wanting to say university. Universally flattering tawny orange red lipstick homage to Susan Sarandon. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so I'm going to put this right beside Amal. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, here we go. This is like a lipstick wardrobe. Everything you would need. Okay. It just depends on what you like. So pretty. This is kind of like a statement lip. Like you could do this with no eye makeup and your sunglasses and your hair up with, you know, just any, it just is a good, good statement lip. This is so pretty. This is the color you like more and more when the more you look at it. Okay, I'm gonna do the Edward thing again. Try to condition and maybe remove some of that. Now your brook coming home. Yeah, because it was a lot still left on it. The next darkest one is Viva La Vagara. And we know what shades she wears. Matter of fact, I have um, studied her makeup before and she does not like the light colors at all. She believes in the darker colors. This would be one that Sheila would like. Okay, and it is described as a soft wine lipstick. Okay, so we're gonna start um, right here on my arm a little bit, just to fit them, I'm gonna fit them all in. So that is that one. It, hers is the next to the darkest. Okay. And you know what? I just remembered I'm putting hers over a little bit of that lip conditioner. So hers is probably sliding on a little bit better. So that's like a tip. That is really pretty too. That is definitely, she nailed these with the colors. Very, very pretty. That is the Viva La Vergara. Let's see. Lipstick is Happiness in a Tube. I agree. Uh, soft wine matte lipstick in homage to Sofia Vergara. This is the perfect wearable nuanced color. I wonder if the other ones said matte and I didn't see it. So just this one is matte, but since I put, you would know I'd put this over the lip conditioner, but isn't that pretty? Okay, so the next one is going to be the darkest color. This is Patsy Red, iconic statement red matte lipstick in homage to Pat Patsy Tilbury. Okay, so this is that one. Oh, that is beautiful. It's like a good cherry red. And that is the color. I'm going to take this off. Took that off and here goes the Patsy Red. Trying to spread it out for you real good, but keep it in my lips. 
that line. You can kind of turn it like that and do it at, do a liner. Beautiful. They're all good. You're not going to mess up with any of them. None of them have any weird tones. None of them, I think, are over the top. They're all beautiful. That is just gorgeous. So here they are. And it's, it's hard for me sitting here right now to even tell you which one was my favorite. I just really like them all. So it just it's up to what you're looking for. But I think that is a good assortment. So I hope you enjoyed this. I have on a new, kind of a new normal outfit. My friend Denise sent this to me and I just got it today and it was perfect because I could put it on for the video. But this is a, she said it was, she said I sent you a new tank. Let me back up. She said that she had sent me a tank from Nordstrom that was so Kim KW and it is. It's by Reformation. I love this neckline or this, you know, I guess it is a neckline. And I'm just wearing one of those really cool bras from, I think, Negative. I love these, every one I have gotten. And I love that you can still wear a bra with it. And I also have on some really cool, very high-waisted, um, like, boot-cut yoga pants that I ordered just on a whim from, um, not Urban Outfitters, but Abercrombie. So I will take a picture of my outfit and put it at the end of this video, but I love just this together. For earrings, I wanted to put on something fancy since I was wearing something kinda just plain today. And these are the Sheila Fajal. I can't remember the name of them, but I will put a link down below. Um, my U necklace from Oliver, the Sheila Fajal um, Jolie chain, which is good with everything. And then I've got, wanted to put on just like some little rings or just something different. So these are all Dean Davidson rings. And if he still sells them, I'll put the link to these down below. And then nothing on my fingernails because last night I got on a whim, painted them this light baby blue color and I couldn't stand it. Every time I saw my fingernails, I hated it. So I took everything off today and they're just, they're naked. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Charlotte Tilbury for sending these to me. Okay, the giveaway. Uh, be watching on my Instagram page and let me just think what I need to do. I don't even know how people do giveaways on Instagram, but that's what I'm going to do. So, just be watching on my Instagram and I'm going to do a giveaway there. See you soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.